Agriculture officials are giving knowledge to local farmers on how to have a good crop season. They say a successful season depends on which crops farmers grow, but no matter what their crop is, the event helps farmers ahead of the planting season. Now to your sites, Caitlin Richards has more for us. Uh, last year, peanuts and soybeans, because they, they're crops that really don't demand a lot of nitrogen fertilizers, really were represented the best returns for producers. What am I going to plant that has a possibility of having a successful outcome? The Pitt County Agricultural Center hosted the 2023 Pitt County Feed Grains Production Meeting. North Carolina State University Extension Specialist talked with local farmers on some topics, including crops, soil, and weather patterns. I try to look at what what helps with uh, um, weed prevention, um, crop yields, what will increase it, what does it help, um, you know, anything that's cost efficient for the farmer. Some of the advice given included planting in ideal conditions, aiming to plant so that 40 to 50 growing degree days are accumulated over the next four to five days and no more than two inches of rainfall for the first seven days of planting. It's important to recognize that we're transitioning into from a La Nino to La El Nino type of environment, which means that that may cause some adjustments in terms of um, when to plant. Uh, we expect more cool conditions more rainfall as we move into April and early May. I think at this point choosing those varieties that will be likely most profitable is probably the single most important thing we can do at this point now. In Pitt County, Kaylin Richards, 9 on your side.